it has come to my realization that people do not know how to differentiate the different sizes of paper. There's A6, there's A5, there's A4, A3, A2, A1, and A0, particularly in that order. So I'm going to start with A6. This is the typical size A6 paper. Then if you now fold it twice, this is the A5. So this is a typical primary school exercise book that you used. I have a notebook, same size. That is A5. Then if you unfold it, we get an A4. So this is a typical full scap size. And as you know, this Kabahasha, the full scap size, uh, Indium Natumiyaka Kwena Nai interview. Yeah, so this is the A4 full scap size. If you multiply it by 2, you get an A3. So this is an A3 size of paper. And you can see from my waist to my neck, for a normal sized person, that is. Then if you multiply an A3 by 2, you get an A2. So this is an A2 size of paper. Yes, and if you multiply A2 by 2, you get a bigger piece of paper, which is the A1. And this is the A1 size paper. Yes. So, and also there's A0 bigger than this. So this is A1. Twice as big as this makes an A0. But this is the biggest I could get in the market. Yes. And now you can differentiate the different sizes of paper. And before you go, I have a drawing here. This is a pencil drawing that I did. Can you tell me which size it is? Comment down on the comment section and tell me what size this pencil drawing you think it is.